Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mendel the Lead Hound back once again with the Pokemon Zeta Nuzlocke Challenge. Uh, last time, um, well, actually, first, well, let's go through our let's go through our Pokemon. We have Felizir here, our brand new Hound Hour, great addition to the team. Super happy I caught him. We have Potar the Magmar, uh, doing fine. Bopped, no Q, Rolthana. And Sulkin. I, I'm gonna run through them quickly because basically they're all the same as you saw last time. But I did do some training with Felizir, and as you can see, even though Felizir is still unsure about traveling with us, he isn't trying to bite us anymore. So that's that's a good thing. Um, in this episode, we're gonna continue on to the Dark Mansion and see what we're Midnight Mansion rather. Oh, that's cool. Azorua. Oh, that that that's also pretty cool. But I, I'm really glad. After seeing everything that you can get in this area, I'm really get glad that we ended up with Houndour, because Houndour is just so cool. And this thing knows Pursuit. That is bad. Oh, I, I've, a few of the things here actually know Pursuit. There's, there's Murkrows and stuff. Not to mention the... As I mentioned previously, the the, uh, the Aftermath uh, Stunkies. Those, those things are terrifying. I hate those things. Luckily, though... Felizir resists dark type moves and also has roar. So that, that, that's pretty good. We have roar and teleport now. That's two ways to escape battle. Um, so we're just going to continue on. And it looks like we're going to get our first encounter with Team Asgard. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's just find our way through. Oh, whoops. I guess I got to go this way. Probably should have looked at the path before I started recording, but whatever. Not a huge deal. Our crows. Pretty scary. Um, and actually. Uh, um, I'm probably, yeah, 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 because a lot of stuff is faster than Felizir, so I'm actually going to put um, Sulkin out front, because Sulkin's much faster and he can teleport us away from battles. Felizir is a little weak for the time being. Um, so also, today, I have a plan for Rolthana, yes, indeed, because, as it turns out, it's very difficult to train Magikarps. So my plan is, I'm going to be sending him out uh, for training battles, or her, sorry, so, Rolfana's a girl. I'm going to send Rolfana out for trainer battles and do some switch training with her, because just training her with wild Pokemon while I'm not recording, it just takes way too long. I got her up to level 15, but now she's just gaining no experience from those battles. So that's the plan for today, we'll see how it goes, hopefully it doesn't lead to too many problems. This is kind of dangerous. I, if Sulkin wasn't a high level, this would be extremely dangerous. So let's teleport away. Uh, this is this is scary. Let's get past these things. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How do you get there? Okay, here we are. Finally, Rolthana, come on out. Uh, 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 that's wrong. No, no. Oh, jeez, that was close. <laughs> That was close. That would have been pretty bad. Alright. Uh, I think Rolfana is still unsure. Yeah. Rolfana is still undecided, but she's just a Magikarp, so it doesn't matter. Let you through? Ha! I'd only let you through if Odin himself gets defeated. Oh. Um, I guess I need to come back here? Okay. Well, this was just one big waste of time. No, 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 no. Uh, actually, we are just going to go ahead and teleport back to Superior City. This <laughs> turns out it uh, doesn't really matter that much. We were just heading back to Superior City. We are coming back here a lot. I thought we were going to be done with Superior City. But, let's just heal up. Please. And then we'll run off uh, off to the left. So we, we know we need to go through the cave now, once we defeat Odin, I guess. But Odin sounds like he would be the boss of Team Asgard, so... I don't know if that's going to happen for a while. Maybe the Midnight Mansion is like an endgame thing or something. I really don't know. But, um, anyway. Oh, we probably shouldn't have, uh, yeah. Uh, should we have Felizir out front? No, probably not. Let's throw No Q out front. Yes. No Q feels good, right? Yeah, No Q. No Q is awesome. No Q has more than proven herself. Bidoof and a Shinx. Okay. No problem. Just brick break it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it 
it's so hard to tell, like, when I'm over-leveled and when I'm under-leveled. So... I think we're at a pretty good spot, though, even though the... Because the wild Pokémon are just weak in this game for the most part. But uh, the, lo the level jumps are kind of hard to predict in this game, so... I think we're in a good spot. Can't quite tell. Um, rock throw, Ponyta, Brick... Oh, wait. Oh, wait, will this Abra just teleport away? I don't know. No, it's fainted anyways, okay, whatever. I don't really care. Yes, good, good, good. Alright. Uh, well, let me go up here. And this is where we let. Yes, we battled this guy. I remember you. Uh huh. You told me about the mansion, that's right. Thank you, also, because that's where I got a. I did, in fact, get a dark type. Um, okay, we are. Yeah, we already got the berries there, so let's go. Oh. Well, well, well. Want to guess who already has two gym badges? You have two guesses, and the first one doesn't count. That's right, me! Soon I'll be roasting marshmallows with the best of the best. Okay, that's kind of a weird thing to say. You, me, let's go! Okay. First battle versus Jake. I wonder how prepared I am for this. I think I'm pretty prepared. Rival Jake sent out Charmander. Lucky you. Okay, it turns out I'm way very prepared for this fight. Oh wait, uh, oh, oh no, rock throw hit. Nice, no Q. And he's not even using a potion. The only reason I rock throw it again because I assumed he was going to use a potion. Now, oh, you have a horsey, don't you? Yeah, that's your, oh, your starter was horsey. That's not good. No, oh, this is actually pretty bad. Level 16 horsey. Pretty much everything I have is weak to horsey. Um, Sulkin? Should I throw Sulkin out? I think so. Oh, but mm, Sulkin, you're so weak. Uh, yeah, Sulkin. I need you now. Come on, go, 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 go. Water gun. Okay, good. Okay, oh, yeah, this is no problem. This is no problem. I'm over prepared. As usual for the- oh, wow! This- this fight was no problem at all! <laughs> Rock Blast. Uh, that might be cool. How's that? Oh, cool! Base power of 25. Yeah, Rock, Rock Blast hits 2 to 5 times, so that means it's guaranteed to do as much as Rock Throw, right? Am I right? Launch- uh, the user picks up- yeah! So Rock Pat- Rock Blast is just better than Rock Throw. Yes, yes, okay, get rid of Rock Throw. Yeah, uh-huh, it's one of those moves. It has the same accuracy, too, as well, so that, that is just straight up better. I lost just pass! I've had enough of you anyway. Yeah, nice job, man. Nice job, really proving yourself. Cool Charmander, though. One God Town, we finally made it. Finally made it to One God Town. Let's explore our... Are you team... Are you team Asgard? Really? We're trying to steal an ancient artifact. Get lost, kid. Well, thanks for announcing that. Please, I I'm going to go report you to the authorities now. You just, you just confessed. He was quite the famous actor in his day. He even had an exhibit in our museum. And now he just mopes around. It's a bit depressing, really. That doesn't make him any less of a gym leader, though. We've got a mopey gym leader, apparently. This house is oddly empty. It's giving off strange chills. Is there some sort of a... Uh, gives you the right to disturb me. Do you know who I am? I do not. This is like a scary house. Then let me tell you my powers are far beyond words. What on earth is going on here? I don't want to say yes because I don't know who this is. I'm gonna... I'll come back here later. Gotta remember. Creepy house. Creepy house right there. I'm not gonna deal with Team Asgard yet. Let's, let's go ahead. Hey! Hey Pidgeotto, what's going on? Are you Pidgeot? I think I think you're Pidgeot, actually. Whoops. Whoa! Look at this! This is awesome! Can I just have all these? Hey, is it okay if I have all these? Yeah, sure. Mendel, what a lovely name. Mendel, this questionnaire is about the Superior City Gym. Did you find the battle with Devon? Um, I, I haven't fought him, so no, I did not find the non-existent... Um... Oh! 
Oh, I forgot. Oh, I, I that was the other gym leader. Oh, I yeah, have his Riolu, obviously. Yes, he's a very good gym leader. I'll have to get his best. Thank you for your metal. Here, have this. Thanks. Thanks, lady. Have a nice day. Thanks for your time, Mendel. Um, I'm gonna pick these later. I'm not gonna waste your. I'm not gonna waste time with this recording picking berries. <gasps> Is this a safari zone? This looks like a safari zone. I could get another Pokemon. It is a safari zone. Wow, already. Oh wait, 500 Poke dollars. Actually, no. I don't need Pokemon right now, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, there's still a few things to look at. Let's check out the gym. Grass type. Tr oh no. Oh wait a minute. Oh wait, no, that's good. I forgot. I've got fire types. I was thinking. Actually, no. I was thinking if the next gym is water. Then I was doomed. That's one of the reasons why I was scared when I looked at well, that at, at Horsey. But no, actually, that's fine. Grass type is gonna be easy, I think. I hope so. I got another fire type now, so I don't I don't think there should be a problem. What do you have to say? Bug is super effective against grass. Maybe I can get an advantage against Gideon, Gideon, the gym leader, that way. The best day of my life. I caught a magic carp. Oh wow! I'm so happy, and I'm a, I'm a failure, aren't I? Uh, don't worry, dude. I got one as well. It's just the way it is. Um, I think that that's enough exploring. Let's go see what Team Asgard is up to. I'm not going to go to the gym. Can I just go in here? And you're not going to stop me, so whatever. You guys want to fight? Get out of here. Let the grown-ups handle this. Handle your theft? I'm going to stop you. Because as we know, justice in the Pokemon world can only be met out by children. No cue. Let's see... I guess I probably want a uh, Potar for, yeah, Potar is probably a good choice. I don't think Ponyard knows anything too scary. Yeah, <laughs> Fury Cutter. <laughs> okay, um, Ember. Actually, Brick Break. Oh, oh, Brick Break would be awesome against Ponyard. Oh, I hope more of these guys have Ponyards. Oh, that'll be so cool. Boss won't be happy. Well, too bad for you. Oh, I forgot. Uh, let's get some, let's, let's switch Rolfana. This seems like a good place to, to train her. Yeah, you may be undecided now, but just wait till you evolve. Hey, you're not allowed here. Get out of my face. Please have a Ponyard. Please, please have a Ponyard. No. Not this again. I do not want to deal with this today. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sulkin, yes. Sulkin, take care of this fool. Ah, yes, Sulkin. You've grown up, Sulkin. You're ready to take on challenges now. That makes me very happy. The boss won't be happy. Do they all just say the same thing? Great job, kid. Now we'll get fired. You want to fight too? I don't want. I don't want your kind here. Yeah, sure. Team Asgard Grunt would like to battle. Sent out Ponyard. Perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. See, look at how little experience Rolfana got even from that. Oh well. It's gonna be a while, gonna be a long trip, Rolfana. <sighs> if only you had, like, slightly higher attack or something. A crit. Yeah, of course. Brick break. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. These all actually aren't worth a huge amount of experience, that kinda stinks. I'm not gonna say anything? Fine. I wanna talk to you anyways. What do you... What, what do you want to kick us out? I, I just want to learn about the fossils and archaeology. Except for the fact that already like five other of your team have confessed to wanting to steal an artifact or something. Here. A fossil? Are you guys trying to steal a fossil? I wasn't really paying attention. Sorry. Potar. Yes. Level up Potar and Potar will just carry us through the gym. Uh, I should probably be careful with statements like that. We remember what happened last time when we had one Pokemon just carry us through the gym. So let's be a little more careful than that. Um, It's a fossil of an ancient Pokemon. Okay, uh, oh, it's shaped like a root. Uh, so so that must be a uh, 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 Lilig Liligant? Is that it? Are these all 
shaped like plumes. Uh, not sure. Oh, that's that raptor one from 5th gen that I don't remember the name of. Fossil is shaped like claws. Ah, uh, that's Anoroth. Anoroth is like my favorite fossil Pokemon. You notice I like a lot of Pokemon from 3rd gen. Mo most of my favorites are in either 3rd gen or 2nd gen. Carablast. Okay, well, I've got other stuff to handle less. Let's go with... No Q. Let's see how your Rock Blast is going to do. Should take out this thing pretty easy. Ah, uh, yeah. Leer. I don't know. No Q has such high defense. Who cares? Come on, No Q. Oh, nice! Good job, No Q. Oh, wait. I forgot. I'm four levels higher than it. Why am I so impressed? If I wasn't beating that thing, then that would be a complete embarrassment. Um... You, uh, this is a little bit of visual glitch there. We are invincible, we'll rip you to pieces! Yeah, sure. Good luck with that, buddy. Do you have a Ponyard? You do? Well, how great! Uh, let's send, uh, Potar in some more. Let's send Bopt in. We haven't seen Bopt this episode. Bopt. Bopt. Get his name right. And you can also Brick Break! for instant KO. Yeah, easy. I do like Ponyard though. That's another that's uh that's one I might like to get later if I if I get the chance. I'd like that one. Um looks like there's a boss fight up here. Let's see if there's any more grunts to fight before we take on Is this going to be Odin? Like I don't under, I understand is cuz I don't see why the leader of the team wouldn't be Odin. Why would we be fighting him now? Oh well, I guess we'll find out shortly. I have a feeling that Midnight Mansion thing is some sort of like an end game thing though. Uh yeah, Chillmet, uh, that's no problem. We'll just send a no cube, like we always do. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. And rock blast. Uh oh, bide. This could be dangerous. Only hitting twice? No Q. If you miss this, this is this is bad if you miss this. Should I just tackle? No, I, I have to kill this in one hit. Rock Blast. Come on. Okay, good. <laughs> no key, what are you doing only hitting twice? The whole point of Rock Blast is to hit more than two times. Obviously. Fauna is still not leveling up. Come on. Come on, Fauna. Alright, yeah, we're, we're going to battle all the grunts. Uh, just, just for the experience, because once again, Rothana really needs it. Then we'll take on uh, Odin, I guess. I, 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 I seriously don't know what's going on. Another Riolu, so Sulkin, come on out, take care of this thing. Okay, good. This is still kind of scary. This doesn't. If, if I couldn't kill these things in one hit, I would I would be terrified of them. There you go! Oh, and you actually gained attack! Good job, Rolthana. You're learning something. Um... Okay. So it looks like there's two more grunts to fight, unless... Uh, I don't really want to trigger a cutscene, so if I walk too close, I have a feeling they might, like, force me to battle. So I'm gonna battle these two grunts, then I'm gonna heal up, then I'm going to, uh, then I'm going to take on the boss. Let's see what you do, Rolthana. Tackle? Um, okay, the thing had illusion, but the illusion was doing nothing. Um, let's go with, uh, Bot. Bot. Seriously? Seriously? Zorua? That's not cool. You can't just do that. Magnitude! Magnitude. Pop, pop! Take it. You're gone. Uh, that's pretty good experience. Still gonna be a little while though. Still need four more levels. <laughs> there's, there, this, this has some weird graphical glitches in this place. I'm not really sure why. All right, we'll take on this guy, then we'll heal. You're not allowed here. You're not allowed here, thieves. Ponyard. Go, Rolfana. Bot. Finish off this last Ponyard. Please. <laughs> he 
Mrs. Fury Cutter. Wow. It's pretty pathetic. Pretty pathetic. Yeah, but, but I'm really glad that we got, like, Brick Break this early. It's It's been a really helpful move. Uh, the boss won't be happy. Yeah. Alright, well, well, first of all, let's go heal up. Move out of the way, out of the way. And also, I, I don't think we'll send Rolfana in, even though we do need to train her. I'm not sure she's ready to take on the boss of, uh, of Team Asgard. Or an admin. I would. I assume I'm going to fight an as admin. I'm, I, I can't be fighting the boss already. That doesn't make any sense. Um, who? No Q. No Q's a good decision to, for up front. No Q's awesome. And can take a lot of stuff. Just don't have a water type. Right. Let's do this. Can I talk? I, I don't know. Do I want to talk to the Grant? Let's see. Can't talk to you. Can't talk to you. Uh, do you want to talk? Do you want to talk? Wow. Okay. Finally. Hey you, this is no place for kids. Get lost now. No, you say? Fine. Freya, deal with this impudent child. Yes, sir. So we're going to be fighting Freya, who just stepped uh, on top of my nose pass. You're, you're mean, Freya. Yep, so so they are all named after uh, Nordic gods then, I guess. But this is an Asm Asgard commander, Freya. Okay, not admins. Let's see what you got. A Hoot Hoot. Okay, this is going to be a, a... This is probably her weakest Pokemon, so this could be a difficult fight. But let's Rock Blast this thing. No Q. Okay. Two more. Two more to go. That was no problem. Um, I... I, th I think this is going to be a difficult fight. Maybe I should have had Rolfana in. Okay, there's the Riolu. Okay, there we go. <sighs> Sulkin. You're so weak, and this thing probably knows Quick Attack. Uh, do I send Potar in? If I send Potar in, I can avoid his counters, but so can Sulkin. Let's send Sulkin in first. Because Sulkin can probably one-shot this Riolu, and if the Riolu counters... Yeah, okay, it won't do any damage. Also, if I if this doesn't kill it, the counter won't do any damage, since it's special confusion. One hit! There you go, Sulkin! Sulkin is a monster. Unstoppable. Beldum. Okay, um... You have no idea what you were dealing with, kid. I have the perfect counter to Beldum in Houndour, but Houndour is not high enough level to deal with that kind of challenge yet. So instead, uh, Potar or Bot, or do we we leave Sulkin in? No, no, Sulkin can't deal any damage to this thing at all. There's acid stuff. Hmm. The question of the day. Well, you can see the question of the day. I, I'm I'm gonna put a question about the teams. Which team is your favorite? I, I know I know my favorite is. Our, our team's Magma and Aqua. More, more Gen 3 stuff. But, um, no, the question of this day is, um, does this thing levitate? I'm gonna guess no and send Bopped in, but if Bot can't destroy this thing, that's kind of stink. Oh, yeah! Beldum's only no takedown. That's right. Okay. Magnitude. I mean, Brick Break won't be ineffective against this thing. It'll just be normally effective. Magnitude 4. Okay, good. It can get hit. If I could just get a higher magnitude, then that would be better. Yeah. Come on, Bop. Bop. Magnitude 7. And you're done, Beldum. Thank you. And Sulkin's level 19. Look at that almost 60 special attack. <laughs> so good. You don't know what you're messing with, kid. Do I have to fight again? Do I have to fight you? The Time Caller. You have proven you are a threat to our cause. Watch as we catch a legendary Pokemon and become unstoppable. Which legendary? Uh, we're outside now. Since you defeated my assistant, you've proven yourself worthy to watch Team Asgard's rise to power. Sableye, use Time Caller! Sableye. That's uh, Shaman, yeah. You're gonna catch Shaman. Okay, I don't, I don't really care. You can have Shaman. And calling Shaman. Now go, Master Ball! Okay, yeah, you have Shaman. Congratulations. Soon the world of most powerful Pokemon in the world will belong to us, and we will be unstoppable. Now stay out of our way, 
or next time I will not react so mercifully. Well, I did beat up your whole team. Hey, Scott, what's going on? Have you ever heard of the Vestran Spear? Apparently the trainers there are so tough, even Team Asgard stays away. I haven't heard of that. But either way, that's where we're going to end this episode today. It was a bit of a longer episode. Uh, I try to keep them at 20 minutes, but I, I we did quite a bit. Actually, I'll probably do some editing at the beginning, because there's no point in watching me just wander around the maze. So you've probably already seen me edit out that maze wandering part. Um, people keep... No Q keeps getting on top of people for some reason. But either way, I'm going to end it off there. If you did like the video, then be sure to like, leave a comment, uh, talking about what maybe your favorite team is from, from the games. And um, please, most importantly, come back if you did enjoy this for the next episode. And that's all.